Looking up for re-election, what are your, your personal highlights over the last four years? Alright, um, um, the last four years have actually brought me very very close to the people of Tilbury. I mean as you know I live in South Orkindale, but Tilbury is my like, second home because I'm always um, down here. I mean during the past four years you would know when we had issues of antisocial behaviour, how I came on board, how I worked with the police here to resolve the issue. Thank God everything is live, you know, you know, better now. There are there are issues of um, you know, regu regulatory issues like I had to attend planning um, planning committee on behalf of, of my constituent. I had to attend um, DC in the Development Corporation on behalf of my constituent. I'm really, really happy about um, the Thorough Park Churchill Road because I played a key role there and also the people there, they're really, really, I mean, people that could talk for themselves as well and I was uh, supporting them. I've been on the on the committee on their behalf to, to, to argue their case. One, about one and a half weeks ago, I went around just distributing leaflets, not, not knocking doors and people that saw me, they actually came and thanked me for the effort which you know you see people appreciate what you do and it makes you feel you know better that you carry on doing it and and there are other um, you know cases you know like uh, individual issues like house, housing uh, some people on council tax you know issue with the council that have to be resolved the issue of um, schools people wanting um, admissions to schools that they, you know we have to advise them there's lots of issues that um, I've been involved in and apart from that also, within the council, I'm on, uh, on a scrutiny panel, which we scrutinize the council on the performances, and behind the scene, we do that, and I am very active. And I personally also work for a local authority, which is like for 15 years, so I know the in and, in and out of the, of the council, and I know what, you know, the processes that are involved in, in the council, and um, I'm actually here to represent the people of Tilbury, which I believe that, you know, the, the, the 6th of May would decide because it's, it's actually people who will remember what Buki has done for them individually or collectively in Tilbury and do, do, do that and give me the mandate to represent them. I was speaking to a, a member of Trust who remained anonymous uh, yesterday, but just said that, I said, describe Buki and she said, dedicated, um, passionate and a behind the scenes person who will work for individuals as well as the party. Is that a nice thing to hear? Oh, I like that. Thank you for relaying back to me. That that is really good. It's nice to be known for, you know, whatever good one has done in the in the society, and I'm and I'm happy about that. You know, thank you. <laughs> do, but do you feel? I mean, sometimes and sometimes the press can be guilty of this. That we're mm. trying to describe Tilbury as if it's a, as if it's like Los Angeles in a restaurant. But in fact, people of all walks of life. Here we are on a Friday morning at a market, mm. cohesing together. We had to use that term. Yes. So so what? Are, would you say there are challenges of communication? You want you one? Um, I would say that. You know, some few people, they speak louder than majority, that's the issue we have. You have some few people who say, who, you know, you know, you, when they speak, it's like, oh, no, no cohesion. But there is, this is a cohesive society. It is, it is well, um, because like me personally, people accept me for who I am. And I, I am happy because I go around to people and they, you know, they do, do accept me. They do accept me to support them, to work for them, to be their servant. And and I, I think that majority of people here are well cohesive. You know, they work cohesively with other team. And the diverse, uh, the diversity of um, people, it actually bring more development to, to, to a society than um, any any negative development. That's my opinion. Are, are you disappointed that there are two independent candidates standing in your ward? Look, I am not disappointed at all because, like me, I have something to offer and I'm saying to people, you've tried me for four years, look at my record and then you, if you want to give me your mandate, do. And if other people have, this is freedom, freedom of expression, <laughs> you know, people can come and say the same thing, but it's down to the electors to decide. I'm not worried. I mean, somebody, uh, Keith Archer, I know him very well. We work hand in hand to make sure that 
the Churchill Road, um, you know, was never opened, you know. So, 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 and and he saw me the other day, and we're really fine about it, you know. We are fine about it because a lot of people have the interest of um, TB attached, and I do have interest of it. I wouldn't be coming back second time if I didn't, you know. So. You know, come since to May, we are there. I wish everyone the best of luck. That's what I can say.